One intention in manual therapy is to rehydrate the tissue. Uh, connective tissue, the biggest proportion of its volume is bound water. So you can think of it as, uh, like a sponge in which uh, a lot of volume is water molecules that are bound uh, to the fibrous element. Um, every day we accumulate some waste products which are then contributing to the uh, water being kind of dirty water. If we would move several hours each day there would be a constant flux through the water and we would have fresh water every day. But many of us, we don't move uh, several hours each day. And then it is helpful to, with manual therapy, to squeeze the water out of the connective tissue into the environment. So we apply some pressure, usually with our fingers, but later I will show you how to use the wave tool, in order to push the water out of the application zone and then when, when we let go fresh water then coming out of the blood plasma that does not yet have the free radicals as waste products included will get into the tissue. So in the next scene I will show you how to use my hands and how to use the tools for a water dehydration. I'll show you with my bare hands first. Uh, before doing the slow motion squeezing, I would do some vigorous rubbing. This you can do with your hands, you could also do it with a gua sha like tool. And the intention is to increase the microcirculation, so to get the skin a little bit more rosy colored. So this is, uh, you only need to do it for 20 seconds, 30 seconds to increase the blood circulation. Uh, after you have done that, then I change my style and take about three or possibly four fingertips and try to squeeze the spongy tissue slowly in one direction with the intention of creating a compression wave in front of me. Similar to a boat that goes through the water, the water will bulge up in front of the, uh, of the movement, you want to have a compression wave in front of your fingertips. And then you can see the water will be compressed here, then it will be squeezed out directly under my fingertips, and then in the shadow of my fingers it will accumulate new fresh water from the blood circulation. So it's helpful that we increase the blood circulation before. But a disadvantage is that if there is a tiny water bag between one of my two fingers and the other finger, I won't be able to compress it very much. And that is the advantage of working with a tool. So with a tool I can find the right edge, either a more smooth one or a more sharp one. And I can also find the right convex or concave surface. So for the upper arm this concave surface is quite good. And here you can see how much more complete the compression wave is in front of me and how detailed I can squeeze the water out under my tool edge here. So that is the ideal movement. You can see it really nice also in the color change. And similar to a sponge. In a sponge, if you want to renew the water, let's say there is some dirty water in it, you wouldn't do rapid movements like this. You would do a medium strong compression and then move your fingers in about the speed I showed you. And you could do it in one direction, but the rehydration um, of the water will be more complete if you do it in multiple directions. And that's the same way that we recommend. It would be good that you do this movement in one direction, but you also do it in another direction and possibly in additional directions. Um, I would recommend that you do the proximal direction 
towards the neck, towards the trunk, uh, where the main lymphatic vessels go, that you do that a little bit more often than the other directions. But one direction is not as good as multiple directions. So that would be the general recommendation.